One beep from the bottom sensor, two beeps from the top sensor, three beeps from both. Bear in mind you have 11 beams. I'll show them all to you by removing the outer lens cover. And you'll see quite clearly all 11 beams. Each circle here represents a beam. Each beam is 10 degrees. In this situation, I want to miss that staircase over there because if a dog ran up the staircase, it would break the bottom and the top beams, creating a missed trigger. So I would simply mask off with masking tape or installation tape these three beams. If the 15 minutes of walk test is not enough for you to perfectly align your beams, simply push in the tamper switch and you'll be given another 15 minutes. At the extremities of the rubber guard's range, typically 20 meters, one of the eyes, if they're too high or too low, will stop detecting. To ascertain whether they're hitting the ground in front of you or going over your head, simply put your hands up, and if they trigger now, then you know the beams are too high. And one would have to adjust the top eye by lowering the beams a fraction. From our walk test, we were able to establish that the bottom sensor was going into the ground. To raise it, one would have to loosen up this locking screw by turning it anti-clockwise and lowering the entire sensor. Work in half a millimeter increments, as half a millimeter here would represent at least 3 meters at 20 meters. Lock it up and repeat the walk test.